everybody. So I'm jumping on the bandwagon that a lot of people have been seeing um, the tomato feta cheese pasta melt bake. So I'm gonna attempt it today, tonight for dinner. So it says that you put in cherry tomatoes and then put a little olive oil. Some pepper. Oh, salt, but I need a different kind. Sorry, guys. A little bit of sea salt. And it calls for Italian seasoning. Y'all know that I don't like thyme and something else that's in here. Uh, rosemary, I don't think, but I'll sprinkle some on. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of those two spices. They're really strong. But I grabbed some Italian salad dressing mix and thought I would just put a little bit of that on there. And then it calls for the block of the feta cheese. I was thinking that it would be easier because in the end you're going to smush this all up. It would be easier to just go ahead and use like the crumbled feta and pour it all in there and bake it. So I guess you could do whatever you want, but I'm going to do it by the rules and put the block of feta cheese in there. And then we'll go ahead and do another bit of drizzle of some olive oil, some more pepper, and a little bit of the Italian seasoning, and a little bit more of this Italian seasoning. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a little balsamic vinegar over it and it'll cook off when you're doing it. Mix it all up, toss it around. And then we're gonna bake it at 400 degrees. I've got the oven set, ready to roll in a few minutes. And um, you bake it and once it's bubbly about 30 minutes, take it out and you fork everything, you smush everything, mix it all up. Then you're just gonna add um, noodles, which I made a separate container, already cooked them earlier for Marina to put in hers. I won't be using noodles. Um, and I also made some shredded chicken ahead of time as well that I'll put that in there for sure once this is all done. And then I will put it back in the oven to kind of like heat up the noodles and stuff. And then uh, we'll go from there. I'll take some pictures of my finished product.